The best gaze item, number two on the NIH stroke scale, tests voluntary horizontal eye movements. Disorders of vertical gaze, nystagmus, and skew deviation are not measured. First look at the position of the eyes at rest. Make sure to note any spontaneous eye movements to the left or right. The next test is to move your finger or other target horizontally, asking the patient to track your finger from side to side by moving the eyes only. Make sure to keep asking the patient to follow the target. If the patient does not accurately follow your finger, a stronger test is needed. Use the oculocephalic maneuver, eye fixation, or tracking of the examiner's face. This is an exception to the rules of using the first observable response for scoring and not coaching the patient. In patients with poor attention spans, establish eye contact and move your face around the patient from side to side. This may clarify the presence of a partial gaze palsy. Now I'm gonna test your gaze. I'd like you to look at my finger and follow it all the way over this way and all the way over that way. For scale item two, this patient scored a zero. Let's look at how this scale item is scored. Score a zero if the tasks are performed correctly. If a patient has ocular rotary problems, such as a strabismus, but leaves the midline and attempts to look both right and left, the patient should be considered to have a normal response. Score a one for partial gaze palsy. I want you to look at me, look at me, look here. I want you to look over, over here. Look over here, all right? I'm gonna help you out here a little bit so we can see your eyes. I want you to look over here. Now look over there, okay? If there is a conjugate deviation of the eyes that can be overcome by voluntary or reflexive activity, also score a one. If the patient has an isolated cranial nerve paresis, such as an oculomotor or abducens palsy, also score a one. Score a two when there is forced deviation or total gaze paresis not overcome by the oculocephalic maneuver. I'm gonna test your eye movements now. I want you to look at my hand. Can you look all the way over to your right? Look at my hand. And then look all the way over at me. Look here at me. All the way here at my hand. Good. If there is a conjugate lateral deviation that is not overcome with reflexive movements, the score should be a two. The easiest way to score this item is to consider whether the eye movements are normal. If so, score a zero. If not, consider whether there is tonic deviation such that the eyes cannot be moved. If so, score a two. Everything else would be scored a one. Patients who scored a three on level of consciousness, item 1A, are in a coma and may have gaze palsy that can be overcome by moving the head. So in these cases, you should use the oculocephalic maneuver and score the result. To keep the testing conditions standard, do not do caloric testing. With aphasic patients, gaze is testable. Just like with confused patients, it helps to establish eye contact and move about the bed. And finally, patients with ocular trauma, bandages, pre-existing blindness, or other disorders of visual acuity or fields should be tested with reflexive movements and scored. This may mean removing the bandages.